Welcome to a short video summary of the Samsung UE55 KS7000. You can read the full in-depth review via the link in the description or by clicking the info button at the top right of the screen. The KS7000 is the entry-level flat model in Samsung's SUHD range. It is certified Ultra HD Premium and as such it has a resolution of 4K and uses a 10-bit panel. It also has a colour gamut that is over 90% of DCI-P3 and support for HDR10. It utilises edge LED lighting, has a 55-inch screen size and retails for £1,499. The KS7000 uses a bezel-less design with a 1cm wide black border around the screen. There's a silver trim around the outer edge and the build quality is very good. The chassis is very thin, measuring 10mm at the top and 40mm at the bottom and the panel itself sits on a pair of chrome feet positioned at either end. You'll need a surface at least 112cm wide to place the KS7000 on and of course it can't be swivelled, although there is the option to wall mount. The rear is made of glossy black plastic and here you'll find some basic connections. There's a common interface slot, a USB port and an Ethernet port, although there's also built-in Wi-Fi. All the other connections are on the mini One Connect box. Here you'll find an optical digital output and four HDMI inputs all of which are HDMI 2.0a with support for HDCP 2.2 and HDR and one of which supports ARC. There are sockets for terrestrial and satellite TV as well as two more USB ports. The KS7000 comes with Samsung's newly designed smart controller. This small but handy remote is comfortable to hold and easy to use and despite being simplified is still very effective for controlling your TV. It also includes voice control and can even be used as a universal remote. The out-of-the-box grayscale was very accurate, with all the colours below 2 and the gamma tracking our target of 2.4. We could improve this excellent performance even further thanks to the inclusion of a 2 and a 10 point white balance control, resulting in a reference performance. The out-of-the-box colour gamma was also excellent, with only some minor unsaturation in red worth mentioning. We were able to fine tune this with the colour management system, and overall the KS7000 was an excellent performer in terms of Rec. 709. The Samsung supports HDR10 with over 1000 nits of peak brightness. The tracking of the PQ EOTF was excellent, as was the grayscale, but like other Samsung HDR TVs, the KS7000 tracks DCI-P3 rather than Rec. 2020. However, when watching HDR content with Samsung's K8500 Ultra HD Blu-ray player, the results were impressive, with detailed and saturated images and a wide dynamic range. The edge lighting occasionally struggle with difficult content, but overall the KS7000 is a great performer with HDR. It was equally as impressive with standard dynamic range content, delivering highly accurate images and great motion handling. The video processing was also excellent, and the input lag was only 21 milliseconds. In fact, the Samsung UE55 KS7000 rarely put a foot wrong, and thanks to its combination of build quality, features, performance and price, it was a deserving winner of an AV Forum's Best Buy Award. You can read the actual review at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also see more videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? And like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.